In addition, this isn't the most relevant thing that I've ever seen in my life. But when you start noticing, you know, funky things in your data that you can't control, you know, we talked about the tax motivated selling issue. It's really tempting to go back and say, all right, I can look at that. Let's see what's actually happening. Let's see whether, you know, am I completely crazy or does the world look consistent with what I would expect given the assumptions that I've made? And technically speaking, you know, we did a very simple break before, right? When we said, well, the incentives for tax motivated selling are greater in December than they are in the rest of the year. Let's segment out December. If we were to take that a little bit more literally, we would notice, well, there's not a defined break point. What's really happening is as the year goes on, the incentive for tax motivated selling increases. What we would expect to see given that is over the course of the year, we would you know, expect a pretty steady decline. Here, notice that you're looking at the ratio of PGR to PLR, which is weird. You know, we're looking at different, you know, make sure you know what you're looking at. In each case, don't make any assumptions because otherwise things might not make sense. But if we're saying that the incentives for selling losers increases from January to December, that's the denominator of our ratio. If we're encouraging the thing in the denominator of our ratio to get bigger, we would expect the ratio to get smaller over the course of the year. And this isn't perfect, but you can certainly see that there's an indication that the world is behaving at least somewhat consistently with what we would expect. And we're not totally out in left field. We're not totally insane with this process that we're looking at. This is kind of comforting and kind of interesting to see how much of, you know, just think about this in a, in a more general sense. Look at how much of stock behavior, you know, that buying and selling behavior, which in and of itself determines market prices, is driven by tax laws. Like that, I feel like that's really, you know, one of the main takeaways from this. You know, we like to think about, well, taxes are distortionary, but really not that distortionary. It's not a big deal. But then you can start looking at the particulars of the way that taxes are affecting behavior. And we can see them in a lot of cases quite starkly. That obviously tax laws are moving the market over the course of the year.